So, yeah, my name is Alexander Krug. I'm CEO and founder of Soft Games. Um, what is Soft Games all about? Before I get started, um, short introduction about Soft Games. So, we are the world's largest content provider of HTML5 games uh, today. We are working together with, let's say, all the major game portals which are out there. We are providing them our HTML5 games. Um, today, we reach over 11 and a half million uh, monthly active users so far. And um, yeah, very proud to, that uh, we reached this only with HTML5 things, actually. Um, so you just said, uh, a lot of people just told uh, a lot of things about HTML5 games uh, over the last couple of years, actually. And um, yeah, we at Soft Games, um, we are here to, to, to prove that HTML5 games uh, are ready. You can make money with HTML5 games. And some innovative ways how you can make uh, money with HTML5 games, especially when you're an app developer, is I wanted to give you like a short introduction, like two examples how you can um, how you can make this actually. Um, for the start, um, it works doesn't work. Um, for the start, let's start with a very simple question. So if I would start doing a, an app or making an app or like a mobile website today, so what kind of mechanisms I have to make money with some of the users I do have? And uh, um, I think most of you would say, hey, freemium. Everybody's talking about freemium, uh, which absolutely makes sense because uh, over 70%, which is currently uh, the of the revenue, which is currently generated inside the app store, is, is done solely through in-app purchases. So it's very easy. Yeah, you just put your game for free in the store, and then you hope, okay, that users uh, who are inside their app just pay some money. The problem is, like, uh, of the 70% of the revenues uh, which are generated through in-app purchase in the app stores, these companies take the majority uh, of the whole world card. Um, so I would say if you're working for one of these companies, hey, go for it. Everything is fine. Um, but if you're an indie developer or let's say like a normal company who doesn't have like millions of budget to push the new content into the stores, I mean, it makes sense to think about alternatives. So how can I monetize my users still when I have a freemium game? And um, one very good example how this can be done um, actually showed me or showed us actually uh, Crossy Roads. Uh, which made just purely $1 million within like three months' uh, time. So they really uh, pick it up. And I just want to give you like a short example of how they made this, um, because the, the mechanics itself are pretty easy and can be done uh, by everybody of you very simply. Um, so let's see, we have a game. It's not especially uh, a case now for, for Crossy Roads, but we have a game. We have a casual game, or it can be an RPG. It doesn't matter, actually. So we have a game, um, and the specific point inside the game, the users say, hey, I want to buy something really cool inside the game to boost um, my, my, my game process, actually. Uh, so what he's going to do, sure, he's going to, to the shop through, by game design, actually, and uh, he's prompted to, to buy something. But the problem is uh, he has just two coins in this example, but it needs five coins. So what he can do, uh, this is how Crossy Roads basically make money. It's very easy. You would just um, tell him, hey, that's cool. Um, you don't want to spend money. Just watch a trailer, and that's it. Um, so you say, cool. That's a good way to make uh, some, to get some extra coins, some free coins over here. So I watch the trailer, and um, I get like some, some really nice uh, coins I needed actually to um, buy me this whatever, whatever booster I just uh, want to have. Very simple way. The problem what I see over here is basically that um, the user might stop at the, at the fourth point over here um, thinking about your game because he might see like a really cool game which actually fits to the game he's actually playing. So probably he would see now a Candy Crush game or he would see a Heyday or something which is in the casual game sphere. So um, for 100%, or well, I say not 100%, like for high percentage actually, the user will immediately go away from your game at this point uh, because he's prompted to download another app. So he's losing, uh, you're losing your user to another app because the advertiser is not just doing this for making you happy. Um, the advertiser is doing this to make even more money with your users actually over here. So that's not really the way how it should be because you're losing your users to another app actually. Um, the other problem is that all of the providers of incent videos, with Vangel or Ad Colony or um, Unity Ads or whatever, they have just a certain amount of uh, video ads available uh, over the day. So after, let's say, like three or five times a day, uh, when the user watched this video, um, the user might see, hey, sorry, we don't have any trailer or video or whatever available for you anymore. This picture is taken from, from Heyday, for example. So the user would think like, hey, you know that I'm not, I don't want to pay something right now. Um, you know that I'm just looking to get something for free here. 
Um, so the, the user experience at all will be a little bit disappointed over here. Um, so I think there must be something where you keep the users inside your games, and as well um, something which always delivers uh, what the player deserves or what the player trying trying to get, which is like content he can use or watch or whatever in order to get like in-game currency. And uh, what we name it, uh, we bought a casual games, casual games made in HTML5. So let's start again from the from the first law. So if we have users playing again. You say, okay, hey, I want to buy something. Uh, I don't have enough. And now, instead of just prompting him to watch a video, just tell him, hey, um, you can just play um, a free game right now, which fits to the overall um, context. Yeah. So like casual game and then casual um, environment, or like an action game and then say more hardcore uh, environment. And you will get the same amount of coins as you would watch a video here. So you say, like, hey, cool, I'm already playing a casual game, so let's play a bubble shooter game. Um, so you, know, you can do this for uh, a certain amount of time or a certain amount of levels. And when he's done playing it, finish the level, he gets what he was deserving, actually, for. Um, he gets the, the coins, the free coins over here. The cool thing is um, we have 250 games out there. So um, he will always see content. Um, the games can be played over and over and over again. So there is no frequency capping. There is no limited amount of videos every day. So you can just always send the user again into this flow, and he will be happy because the user will get the content for free. So what you have to do is just send them again and again into this, uh, uh, this um, dialogue, actually, at the end of the day. So as I said, the first results we saw when we did this, uh, this trial of uh, some um, yeah, freemium companies was, for sure, as I said, always a game to play. The user will never get disappointed by you. Um, the user, which is very important as well, the user will always stay within your app because these games um, start directly inside your app. So you click on the play button, you're not getting download, uh, forwarded to, to the App Store or prompted, uh, he's not prompted to install something. No, it will open up inside your app another window where the game is started immediately. So you're just not leading out to somewhere else and you're losing the user. No, you keep the user in your environment. So the, you, you make your user more happy and more loyal at the end of the day uh, because the conversion overall will happen inside your, your app at the end of the day. That means also because users will get what they're looking for, uh, that they stay much, much longer in your uh, app at the end of the day. So what we saw is like, um, like an 88% higher retention, uh, rolling retention rate on day 30, which is like really, um, really cool in this way. OK, so like this is the freemium side. Um, so you see, OK, hey, for freemium, we have like some opportunities over here. Beside the, say, the natural or normal ways, we are instant video or whatever it is at the end of the day. Um, coming back to the main question I asked at the beginning, so what is another way how I can monetize my, uh, my app or my mobile site or whatever? Um, for sure, the e easiest way to do this is with advertisement. I mean, you can just launch it immediately. You don't have to take care about um, yeah, in-game design or how you can you know, keep the user as long as possible into the game that he's spending more and more money at the end of the day. All what you have to do with advertisement is just put an ad uh, where the user might click on the ad again. Um, so we have like banner ads, and digital ads, video ads, whatever. Like everybody knows what's, what's out there, actually. Uh, what was popping up uh, in 2014 was called native advertisement. Uh, what is native advertisement? Um, it's coming a little bit from the media industry. So what you might know when you're reading, uh, let's say, a news site, um, at the end of an article, you see you might like also. And there you see like a cross-promotion of other articles which fit to the, uh, which fit to the um, topic of the news you just read. Um, plus, um, let's say, some link which is going externally and some link which is more or less uh, um, uh, where we have to do something like a survey or something like this. Um, this is, was taken in 2014 uh, into the, to the app space and was picked up um, heavily, for sure, by Twitter and uh, um, as well as, as Facebook and a lot of other companies. And as you can see, what does native ad mean? Basically, it's just integrated, uh, like, it's like advertisement, which is integrated in the feed or in the content of the overall app, actually. Um, so the user can basically not differentiate between what is an ad and what is real content of the, uh, of the app, actually. So that means that this kind of native ads uh, generate like really, really high easy payments at the end of the day because people are just clicking like crazy because they think, hey, cool, that fits, fits to, my, to what I'm looking right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm scrolling through my tweets on, on Twitter and I'm reading, I'm following this and this company and I, I see content which really uh, makes sense to, to myself actually here. 
Um, so compared to the banner ads, where you have an eCPM of maximum three to five dollars, something like this, in the, in the app space, you can generate like five to twelve dollars over here, um, which is much much more um, compared. The problem again, what I see with this one is again that most of the native advertising agencies which are out there, again, just cross-promoting or promoting other brands. So if you include this again, you're sending away the users to somewhere. For Twitter or Facebook, it doesn't matter because you know, the, the, the audience is stuck to, to these kind of uh, apps over here. But if you believe, okay, I have a game and I'm just promoting another game, which is really, uh, really fits to the audience I'm actually having my game, you can be sure that at some point you're losing your users for, the, for a few bucks actually over here. So also here is the, the chance what we developed over here. As again, you have the same mechanism here, native advertisement. But again, the game um, is directly played inside uh, the app. So you click on the icon, and it starts to play directly inside your app. The user can, can stay there. You can play longer. Um, you offer additional content to the player um, at specific points when he is probably uh, looking for a break, or if you say, okay, hey, I'm, I'm bored of my tweets, let's do something different, actually. And when he, when he played the game and say, okay, hey, I'm done right now, he clicks on the, on the edit X on, on the corner and going back to your app. So you're not sending the users out somewhere. You always stay them, and users really feel that they have some kind of additional uh, value uh, from your app. So you can turn your, let's say, one site uh, um, or a one topic app to like a real whole entertainment app with 250 games or whatever, which can be directly played inside your app or website or whatever it is at the end of the day. Um, when we see, okay, what does it mean on the, on the, re on the retention side, um, I can just give you some results we've had also with other partners where we made the test. Um, you know, for casual games, normally retention and, and uh, retaining user time dates, or like figures, are really low, like people are just playing once a day and something like this. But well, when you can see this, because of this special environment or special integration, people played it up to three times, these games. Um, that means that they're coming back again and again and again, and they're playing up to 15 or 14 minutes, actually, per session uh, over here. So they're coming back also more and more often. So they really see like a really uh, high value over here, and they're really happy to find some additional content which ever, never ever they had experienced before, actually, over here. Um, integration models, as you know, with advertisement, uh, native advertisement are very, very flexible. I would say the unlimited amount of uh, 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 integration models, um, whatever design you have, you know, it always fits to it. Um, you can have a Tinder style app where you're just popping up a game or I know, like some kind of Pinterest style. It doesn't matter and works also inside, uh, um, let's say, games. It doesn't matter if, uh, if it's like, an, like a general interest app or uh, something like this. The uh, same when you have it uh, in, the, in the website. Um, most important as well is that you are not losing um, your existing ad slots. So you can just try it out, see if it gives you extra money. But I can guarantee you today you will make some extra money because like people, no, people, it's, it's, it's casual games. People love to play casual games. And when the casual games even fit the audience you have, they will be even more happier to find something uh, different, something new over here. Actually. So you're generating new um, ad slots as well, um, because these games are monetized through in-game advertisement as well. But we focus, instead of apps, we focus on uh, premium brands. So we just show video advertisement at specific points inside the game. So the user will never ever out, uh, lead it out, out of the game. We always show uh, advertisement, which will, yeah, we just have to watch, and that's it. And then you can go on and, and, and play here. Um, the good thing, basically, is there is no SDK required. So you can just start immediately. Um, so this is all going through an API connection over here. And um, so you don't have to install, again, something inside your app or have to resubmit it anyway. No, everything you have to do is just um, registering, um, uh, adding it, and, and trying it out. And, and that's it, basically. Um, so native ads, why are they so awesome? Uh, I mean, for sure, we've learned, <laughs> hopefully, Today, um, I mean, like that the games which you are integrating in the native environment um, doesn't look like an advertisement, so people don't feel um, um, yeah, interrupted in their overall gameplay, actually, here. Um, they are directly integrated uh, into your overall uh, design here. It's like 100% brandable, 100% um, uh, yeah, optimized for, for everything that's going on here. Um, it said also, people love to play casual games. Um, so they come back more often into your game, so they boost your overall app KPIs. 
um, which is very, very uh, important uh, for an app developer as well. Um, most important thing I see here um, is that you keep the users inside your games. Um, you're not sending them out. So they get a totally different way of advertisement because there you just keep them engaged and uh, uh, inside your existing app environment. Uh, users love to come back. We're adding three new games every week, so you can always know that there's something new happening, actually, and also the users will understand this. Um, the focus we have is are the games. Uh, so that we just provide like really high premium games, which are not having a like, big difference from what you know natively uh, um, on the native side. And they come along with a lot of social features. That means also that you generate uh, on top again uh, some other ways how people actually share and interact with your game. Yeah? So you have no followers or um, people are um, uh, fighting each other uh, in, inside their high scores on, and so on and so on. And so it's like a really, really cool uh, opportunity for you uh, as an app developer to keep the users longer inside your game to make additional money over here and instead of just doing the traditional uh, um, um, advertisement model in the app space, which is just promoting other brands instead of keeping the users inside your environment. Um, OK, that's from my side. Um, it was a very fast um, presentation. And if you have questions, uh, please let me know. Um, you can also come to our booth. Um, we are in the gold room, number 306. Um, feel free to talk with me, and I'm um, happy to take your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Uh, so are there any questions? I think this is quite interesting. Um, I mean, it's about monetizing uh, your games through other games. Yeah, over there. Um, otherwise, I'll bring you the microphone. Um, can I just get this straight? So let's say I've got a game site. And so then in that inside that game, it's going to be a, another game, another casual game. Is that, for example, something that y y you, that's one of your games that they'd then be playing? Exactly, exactly. So what you do have to do is just you, you build more or less this environment. So you have to, for a freemium game, for example, what you have to do is like the mechanics have to be right. So the people want to buy something. We cannot do this. Uh, but once everything is set up correctly, um, we provide you with the content and we provide you also with the flow and, and all the let's say, back calls where we know, okay, hey, conversion done, um, you can just uh, push out uh, um, the, the coins and something like that. Right. So this is, this is done by our, uh, right. our side. And, and you, would, you would pay me for that? Absolutely, absolutely. Because you want to ultimately woo that user to your game? Yeah. Okay. So like, this is like basically, uh, we provide the, the, the service, basically it's like this, we pay you and we provide you the games. That's how it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're paying me. I pay you. To, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. But the interesting thing is, I think that, the, uh, if I understand correctly, I really need to look at this as well. It, it basically means that this game still sits within your game. So you're, you, it's not an extra app that basically says, oh, sorry, but the user is gone. Mm. <laughs> so it could be, I mean, I don't know what Apple or, or Google think about something like this. But you know, otherwise, it, it basically um, could be your more games button, so to say. I guess maybe, maybe can be can be more games can be could be. I, uh, I, could I be mean, you presented some other solutions actually. as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. absolutely. So, um, other questions? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, this app that uh, that is shown uh, in my game uh, is there a way to go to your site from this app, or there is just like an embedded uh, game that you just play for? three minutes and then you go uh, back to yours. So uh, if I liked your game, how can I go to your website and to continue playing it there? Is there a possibility or no? Mm, I mean, like, we're not interested in grabbing your, your, your traffic. That's why I say, you know, what we want is that you just drive traffic into the games. Mm -hmm. And then when the user is, had co has converted, basically, um, then we're driving back to your app. Um, but if, if I liked your game and I wish yes. to play it uh, continuously, how do I do that? Um, basically, it's, like it's, it's not a really in our interest that we promote our brand, actually. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like this, that the user will not even know that we provide him these kind of games. He will think that you provide him the games. Ah, okay. Yeah? That's so great. it's like something like a real B2B service, not mm -hmm. a B2C or direct-to-customer or whatever service. But basically, the, the user will be always in your environment. There will be you know, no soft games logo or whatever. Mm -hmm. We just redirect it into the games. We play it and we get the coins and he's coming back 
especially you can build also inside your app another section where you say, okay, hey, I know, reward casual games or whatever. So the user can go directly through your app again back to these kind of games. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, please a little bit louder because um, I think it's. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see you. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, I, I, we don't want to you know, conquer with these kind of rewarded videos. I mean, like, this is an additional service, let's say. Um, what we see um, from the services we have live already, because I said, like, you know, we've been doing this since a long time, that we have, like, an RPU of uh, 7 to 12 US dollar cents. Um, so I believe that will be the same also in this area, um, because, like I said, like, we did first trials where we got the numbers as well uh, from. So, um, the ECPM we see here um, is between 7 to 12 US dollars, actually. Yes. Any other questions? So, uh, and how do, you, uh, how do you make money? Does the developer of the app or whatever he provides uh, have to integrate on that side as well? Or how, does the, uh, how do you then make money? Yeah, we make the money also with advertisements, okay. for sure. But as I said, you know, the, the different way with the advertisement is we're not promoting, let's say, other apps. Okay. We're focusing on selling our inventory to premium publishers, uh, okay. premium advertisers, actually. So we, Very nice. Uh, Coca-Cola or whatever it is at the end of the day. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Great. So Sounds thank you very really much. exciting. <laughs>